My grandmother was a magician. Some would call her a witch. Cause she could make and mix something out of nothing. Could take a pinch of that and this and make food to fill my stomach. See, my grandmother, she had magic hands. Her collard greens and cornbread that was passed down from her mother now to mine. When touching your tongue could bring you to heaven and claim you divine. She had remedies she made. Pour oats in your bath water for chicken pox Using Vicks for my sinuses And some crackers in my soda for my stomach pains Yeah, she was just in to keep that doctor away Keep his hands at bay She knew also what happens when doctors and colored children get together to play <gasps> I read somewhere That fear can get passed down on occasion like stories or lessons passed down generation to generation. Come on, you know the most sayings like money don't grow on trees. So don't call the ambulance cause who got money to pay for that or doctor's fees. Or you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink. So lead them by telling them that your level of pain is a nine and watch them bring it down to a six cause niggas can't feel pain like the rest of us. You know niggas got thick skin. Nana always said never judge a book by its cover. But I can't help that every time I see white, I mean gloved hands I feel the need to run for cover, my body shudders Somewhere deep from within It's telling me to run, it's like remember something that I just always seem to forget I forget why doctors' offices are white So that it's easy to sterilize any hints of germs or color in sight See, alligator bait was no longer in style anymore so instead, they decided to hang black babies by the umbilical cords through sterilization, take indigenous lives before they were even born. See, this was a time in America when abortion was adorned. I forgot the mama's recipes don't always stay in the kitchen. It ain't always your mama trying to get you to taste shit that shouldn't be mixed in your system like when doctors lied and gave syphilis to 399 black men and again gave STDs to over 5,000 prisoners in Guatemala unbeknownst to them. Nana said, never forget from whence you came. Her medicine book told the story of our people's trials, tribulations, and pains. In our book, we learn to honor the ones before us that we have lost. But it seems this country only teaches honoring the reward and never honoring the cost. Using black bodies like lab rats, even when their souls have passed on and left this earthly plane. Henrietta Lacks, we will not leave you to be buried along with your name. To them, they may only see a playground made of miles of flesh and skin, but to the 75 million Asian orange victims, we will make sure the generations never repeat or forget. Never repeat building a future upon a pot of gold, but only serving blood. Or justifying chemical warfare because the victims are colored, poor, or young. And never forget the remedies that our grandmothers made because they knew that death wore a white coat and brown bodies were his favorite angels to make. When hospitals and the streets become one in the same, you learn to turn food into medicine. When medical textbooks don't show an image of your reflection, but each page is taking a piece of your flesh, use your body as a roadmap to guide a white man's constant conquest, you pass down your lessons. Teach the young to season their wounds with sugar and spice, cure their stomach pains with a soda and some crackers on the side, you just can't tell me. My grandmother wasn't a magician. 